The flamingo shot is something, I mean, I never named it the flamingo shot at all, somebody else did, but that was a clear case of manipulating the field again. Bowler getting all defensive on a wicket, sets a 7-2 offside field. So all the fielders are on the offside, he decides to bowl outside. I'm pretty good on my legs, so anything off my legs, I'm heading through, uh, through mid wicket, through wide mid on, or I'm banging straight down the ground. So this is clearly when I've got a load of runs. I'm on about 60, 70, 80. They're trying to frustrate me. They're trying to pull the field in and say, right, you know what? We're going to throw it out wide. If you want it, come to us. So my habit, silly as it may seem, is right, I'll go for it then. Um, and I don't see it as a dangerous shot. I see it as a run making shot and I see it as a shot if played correctly. Is it a positive shot? It's a safe shot and it's just like playing a defense or playing a clip anywhere else. The reason I say that is because I think I get myself into such a good position that my bat is always straight on contact. So no matter if the ball is out there, I'm getting myself into a straight position and as soon as I make contact, that's when I drop my elbow and I hit the ball into the leg side. So I'll walk at the bowler. The bowler's bowling in straight lines here. If he's got his normal field, I'm hitting straight balls. Straight balls, anything anywhere near my legs, through my wicket. Hit the ball, hit it, drop the elbow, it goes. And that's how you manipulate fields. As soon as he starts going out off stump and he sets the 7-2 field, I get myself into early trigger, I walk, so I move my right leg first, I get myself just outside off stump, so I'm still sort of covering my stumps with my left leg, so if it does come straight, it's just an easy option. There's no fielder there, so it's an easy option. I'll then play a ball here, which he's thrown outside wide, which is about out here, which is quite a wide delivery. And I'm looking to get myself, my head into a great position, a head as close to the ball as possible, straight bat, through mid wicket. Straight bat, through mid wicket. On contact, so bang, bang. Into that offside, bang. Straight bat, hit. Guys at our level, um, practicing it and playing it the right way. And you know, it's just a real nice way of manipulating the field. Because then where does he go then? How does he bowl? So he's bowled all day. I've got 60, I've got 70, I've got 80. Then he says, you know what? I'm going to last 20 runs before his 100. I'm going to chuck the ball out there. I walk down the wicket and his best ball, I hit through wide mid on. Or I come down the wicket and I'll, and I'll just bunt it straight back past him. And I've done that against South Africa at Headingley a few years ago. I did that off Philander, off Stain. Or Callis, I've played it quite a few times with Callis because Callis is a, quite a defensive bowler who bowls channel outside off stump. And I like to hit him through mid wicket. They say, where do you bowl then? How do you bowl? What do you do as an opposition captain? Well, that doesn't work. Where do you go then? And then they come back to you, they set ordinary fields, and then you can just play again.